How you can easily build custom turrets in Space Engineers. Custom turrets have five main components. The azimuth rotor or hinge, which allows you to turn the turret left or right. Whilst you can use either a rotor or a hinge for this, I would recommend using a rotor for the azimuth. The elevation rotor or hinge, which allows you to move the turret up and down. Again, whilst you can use either a rotor or a hinge for this, I would recommend using a hinge for elevation. A camera, which allows your turret or you to see where it's aiming. The weapons for the turret to shoot. And the custom turret controller to control all of the above. Before you start building, you'll need to keep in mind that you'll need to be able to transport ammunition to your weapons. This means that you'll need to be using advanced rotors instead of normal ones, as they have conveyors built into them. Additionally, certain ammo types, such as missiles and artillery shells, cannot be transferred through one by one small grid conveyors, so keep that in mind when building your custom turrets. Finally, make sure to rename any blocks you place when building the turret, as this will make it easier to set up the custom turret later. There are many configurations of the turret base you can build. A common turret that players will use on large grids is this. This uses an advanced rotor with a hinge on top, but the large grid hinge connects to a small grid hinge part. Hinges and rotors can be merged together with their opposite grid counterparts, so large grid to small grid and vice versa. Whilst there's nothing stopping you building using all large grid blocks or all small grid blocks for your custom turrets, there's a lot more versatility from mixing the grid types. There's two main ways of doing this. The first way is the easiest. If you remove the hinge or rotor part from your hinge or rotor you've placed, go to its terminal. You can select the add small head option. This will add the 3x3 variant of the small grid hinge or rotor to your block. If you wanted to add the 1x1 variant of your hinge or rotor parts to your large grid block, or you wanted to add the large grid rotor head to your small grid 3x3 rotor, you'd need to do it manually. There are multiple ways to do this, but by far the most reliable way is to place the part, then use your ship to position it into the right place. Then, once in the right place, press attach on the terminal of your hinge and rotor. And there you go, you've now attached a small and large grid together. Certain weapons are small grid only, like gatlings and autocannons, so this is a good way to get use of all the weapons regardless of your grid size. Once you have your hinges and rotors placed, you need to place a camera on your turret. The camera will be used by the turret's AI to aim it, or it can be used by a player if they choose to manually aim the turret. Make sure you place the camera the correct way up. On small grid, this is as simple as checking the word camera is the right way up, but for large grid, you need to make sure that the green light matches the same orientation as it does on your hotbar. Next, place your weapons, making sure they are piped up, allowing them to reload. With all the components of your turret placed, you now need to set it up. Place a custom turret controller and go to its terminal. In here, you can select your azimuth and elevation rotor and hinge in the appropriate boxes here, and set the camera for the turret to be the one that you placed earlier. Then, add all the weapons that you've placed on your turret to the list of weapons your custom turret is allowed to use. If this is all correct, you should now be able to control your turret. However, if there is an issue, it will say what the issue is on the right hand side. If your turret is turning the wrong way, this could be because you've placed the hinge the wrong way around. This isn't a big issue though, as you can fix this in the terminal of the custom turret controller. If you scroll down to the azimuth velocity multiplier and the elevation velocity multiplier, these two sliders control how fast your turret turns. You can also invert the numbers of those sliders into the negatives to make them turn in the opposite direction. So you can use this to fix your hinge if you place it the wrong way around. If you find your turret is inaccurate or it aims too slowly, you can mess around with the angle deviation slider to get the right balance between speed and accuracy. You can enable AI on your turret by toggling this option here, and once done, the turret will select targets based on the list below. For example, you can prevent your turret from targeting small ships or large ships, or make it exclusively target players. You can also set this to target neutral or friendly ships if you were building a turret that wasn't effective, for example like a welding turret or something like that. If you're interested in other uses of the custom turret controller, check out this video here where I use it to build custom tracking missiles. And if this video helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe for more Space Engineers content.